Theme Co's X, the theme, looks pretty amazing in all the demos, but once we buy it, most of us don't know what to do. How do we turn a basic blog like this into a complete website, something maybe like this? Well, in this tutorial, we're going to see how far we can get in about 10 minutes time. I'm assuming most of you have already bought and installed your copy of the X theme, but if you haven't, feel free to get it through my affiliate link down below, and thanks a lot. Also, keep in mind that X is a humongous theme with endless possibilities. The idea here isn't to cover every single feature, but instead just to nudge you in the right direction and give you the confidence to build your website as you want. Alright, let's begin. First off, when you install your copy of X theme, make sure to register it and go through the steps to get your validation key. That'll make sure that you get access to the ThemeCo website where you'll find the forum. The forum's great for small questions about your site. And you'll find other goodies here too in the dashboard and also in the knowledge base. We'll be spending a lot of time on the ThemeCo websites, so let's make sure you're legit. ThemeCo also offers us several short codes, which we'll learn about in a little bit. Short codes are small, bite-sized pieces of code that people have already written for us. What we do is copy paste them into our site and maybe add a few words to them here and there so that our site can do more things and include more features. But we'll get to that soon. For now, head back to your site and under X add-ons, click extensions. We want to make sure that Cornerstone is activated. Cornerstone is ThemeCo's signature page builder, which we'll be using to build all the items on our site. It's similar to the site origin page builder, However, a little bit more advanced in some ways, and I think you're going to come to like it even more than other plugins. Like Visual Composer, for example. For now, just activate Cornerstone. Whenever you're building with the X theme, you'll want at least three windows open. Those being your Customizer, found in Appearance, Customize, so let's go there. The next page you want open is your home page, and the third page is going to be a Cornerstone editor, because Cornerstone is what we'll use to edit any page on your website, including your home page. So why don't we go ahead and create a new home page that can replace this weird looking the blog page. Let's hover over new and click page. And let's create a page called front page. And now comes the first real development tip. Let's change page attributes template from the default template to blank, no container, header, comma, footer. What that means is that our site won't include that gray box around it. It'll be full width instead, but keep the header and the footer. And click publish. With this page created, let's go to settings, reading. And I want to set a static page as the front page which is our front page, and then save changes. That'll make sure that we can edit an actual page for our homepage instead of editing the blog. Now let's open our site in a new tab. Excellent, we're on the right track. Now let's click edit page, which will edit our front page, which is also our homepage. And we can see that it doesn't say front page on the permalink anymore. All right, now I want us to click all right, now let's click the Cornerstone tab, which you might have never seen before, right next to text. And then click Edit with Cornerstone. As it loads, I just want to say that Cornerstone will look a little different at first, but you will get the hang of it, because I did, and pretty quickly too. Cornerstone is built with rows and columns, and within those rows and columns are more rows and columns, like these four columns up here. The two most important ones are this brick on the upper left, where we can add a section, and the cube where we can add elements, and I don't even use the search or the gear much at all. In the brick, let's just click add a section, and then let's click add a section again, and then let's add one more section. And we have three areas where we can put content, also known as elements now. I like to rename my sections too but we can do that once we know what we're going to put there. 
the save button sits right here below our elements or whatever you're selecting. It's a little hard to find, but let's save. Down in this row, you'll also find the button which takes you back to your dashboard or to your view page. And if we click on the logo, a text logo, it'll open our site in a new tab and we'll finally have all three tabs open for building. Good work. For our next step, let's get rid of this ugly logo already. This is done in Customize, and you'll see that you'll want to alternate back and forth between Customize and Cornerstone depending on what you're doing. Make sure your stack is set to Integrity. Renew, Icon, and Ethos are very different stacks built within the X theme, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. Follow me to Typography, and let's make sure that Custom Fonts is on and that way we can change this ugly free highlight font on our logo to something like Phoenix or maybe Custard and you get the picture. You can also change that logo font back to a standard black by clicking the logo font color and let's close that and we can change the logo font size right here but 36 is good. Very nice, you're making real changes to your website. This section is also where we control headings fonts for things like H1, H2, and H3, which we'll be using often, and we're going to come back here to change those fonts. You can also change the body font size and the body font in this section called typography. Click the back arrow, and now let's go to header because I want to get rid of this white space and scroll down to where it says navbar top logo alignment. Increasing this number will create a little more white space and push our text logo down. Perfect. Save and publish. All right. So why don't we start designing our homepage by giving ourselves a massive image to put at the top. You might think we're going to design an image slider, but I think those are actually going out because really when you visit a site, who wants to look at the image slider? You probably just want to find the content you're looking for, like a blog post or a product to buy. One item I think is in are hero images. So let's learn how to create a hero image. Go to your cornerstone tab, which I like putting as my second tab. Click on elements. And now grab yourself a text box, which for some reason is all the way at the bottom. Insert that right over the cube, and you'll see this section now has a T where we can write in some nice text. Let's do that. I like all caps, but that's just me. And in the visual tab, we can really make this text come to life. Let's highlight it and center our text, and then make it nice and large with the heading 1. And there we go. To create the hero image, we need a background image, and to get the background image, you have to click outside this text box in the section. See how it jumps to section off to the left. Once in section, you can change the background type to an image by clicking right here, and we can upload a background image. Let's select files. And though it's not always realistic, I like uploading all my files at the same time from one folder. So let's just do that. Now let's select our hero image right here and click insert into post. And once we do that, this image should start filling in the background. And we need a little more text so that that whole image shows up. Adding some more text to our hero image in the visual tab will stretch out our image nicely. And I'm just going to click enter several times to make that image display vertically. Beautiful. Now let's style our text. And I'm going to hit Control A and make that text a white color, which will fit the background. Looking good. Let's save. And now let's refresh our site. And we can see we've created an awesome hero image with lots of room to add more content. Like maybe a button. I'm sorry that we had to cover the basics today, but join me in the X Theme demo part two, where we dive deeper into theme codes. X the theme. And thanks for watching.